obviously respected you. He didn't even try to kiss you. Or maybe you just don't appeal to him. He didn't write your number down. Oh, why didn't you think to ask where he was staying? Hello? Uh, Ma'am, uh, this is Rex Stetson. Oh, hello. I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, not at all. Well, I was just lying here thinking about your generous offer and all. To call you in case there was anything I needed. Uh huh. Well, I need to go out to dinner tomorrow night, and I sure would enjoy seeing a friendly face across the table. Of course, you're going to be busy tomorrow night. Oh no, I always keep tomorrow night open. I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't planned a thing. Oh, I'd love to have dinner with you. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody on this line? Yes, I am on the line. Would you please get off it? All right, but you're on my half hour. Oh, Rex, Rex, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Who was that? Oh, my party line, a horrible little man. He sure isn't very well mannered. Mannered? He isn't even worth talking about. Now, <sighs> what were you saying? Uh, I'll be stopping by about 7.30. All right, that'll be fine. Uh, Miss Mara? Uh-huh. I've never been much on making fancy speeches, but I get a nice, warm feeling being near you, ma'am. It's like, like being around a pot-bellied stove on a frosty morning. <laughs> oh, Rex, what a lovely thing to say. Well, night, ma'am. Good night. Like a pot-bellied stove on a frosty morning. He does like you. <laughs> Hello. Miss Morrow, Brad Allen. Hello. Hello. Yes. I couldn't help overhearing part of your conversation. I'm sure you couldn't. And sharing a phone together, I feel a certain responsibility for you. Now look, take my advice. Don't go out with that man tomorrow night. He's a phony. Of course, it's none of my business. Oh, that's right, Mr. Allen. It is none of your business. OK. Well, they don't let that Yokolak fool you. This ranch hand Romeo's just trying to lure you into the nearest barn. Don't judge other people by yourself. All right, if you won't take a friendly warning. But I can tell you exactly what he'll do tomorrow night. He'll take you to dinner, dancing, and then he'll find some excuse to stop off at his hotel room for a moment. And that, Miss Morrow, is where the payoff comes. Good night, Mr. Allen. <laughs>